now I think it's time. Hello, everyone. And this is you from Amis Global. And Mr. Diraj Hake is not in the office today, so I will speak in his place. Today, I think the presentation is about the introduction of the M-series devices of Ambis. I think some of you already know our M-series devices can be used in the access control system. And if you can, please head to us in this uh, part about the queue and opinion or, or any question if you have during the presentation. So now let's begin. And after the presentation, I will also give you some example about these devices. We can do a live demo. And the pre presentation about today was divided in three parts. The first one is about the brief introduction about our company, Amish Global. And then we will try to introduce all the Ambis M series models. And then in the third part, we will have a question part. And the most asked question about our M series devices. Well, let's begin. The first part is about Amish Global. Our company, Amish Global, it's a global leader in the smart security industry where we have more than 20 years experience in the world, the biometric solutions. And also now we are providing all other solutions about the video surveillance and other intelligent smart home and smart building solutions. Currently, we have three and base bases in the world. First is the Shanghai office about the sailing, about the sales and the R&D department. And then we have a USA office, which is in the California and it's in charge about the sales center. And then we have a manufacturer base. It's also in Shanghai. Um, it's very close to Shanghai. And now we have provided more than 2000 and solutions to our partners and we have many experience in this industry. And we are a friend focused on the commercial security products and the solutions. Now, and in this part of the introduction, we will talk about the security devices about the today, the M series devices. And there are also some case studies. We have some successful cases during the world and, and successful case in the Mexico government uh, project about the litmus fingerprint access control and some of the time attendance projects in the university. Now let's begin the part of devices. I think many of you already heard or already used our M series devices. As we can see in the picture, there are three major series of our M series models. One is M3 and then M5 and the last is M7. We are from the Im images or if you already tried it, you will know all of them have a metal cases. Or we can say these metal cases make the devices are more strong to be used in the up, outdoor access controls. Well, the M, the symbol M not is not just uh, represent the metal. Well, in the world, it's one to say the miracle series. So we can see all these devices have a metal case, so it's very strong and it's waterproof, so they can be all be used in the outdoor environment. And the difference with these devices, we can see it's the M3 series. It has a keyboard 
and which also support the car. And M5, it's a series of devices that support fingerprint access control and also card. And last, the M7, it's the device that supports password, fingerprint, and card identification. Well, let's, from the beginning, the first is the M3 series devices. As we can see here, before we have a model which have the very similar name to the current model name M3 Pro. Well, the current model M3 Pro is very similar to the former model M3, just we have an update in these models to get more function. This device, as we can see here, has a very compact design. It supports the passcode and card identification. This device supports two frequencies card, or we can say it supports two kinds of cards as EM card and MyFair card. This kind of card have different frequency to get the identified. And we can also use the keyboard on the screen to add user or delete user. There's an instruction in the user menu you can use to add a card or passcode for the users. As we, as I mentioned, and there's an update in the M3 Pro, there our new model, which now the device supports a web management page. As we know, all the, nearly all the Amway's access control devices support our access control management software, which is cross-check standard. And we can see here now M3 Pro has, a, has its also a special platform for the management. So you don't have to download the software and you can management manage it directly in a web page. Just try to input the IP address. As we know, the M3, the former model M3 supports USB communication, but now M3 Pro doesn't have that, but you can connect it via LAN so then you can connect it in a web page and type the IP address of the device to log in the web management page. And also the new model M3 Pro support our last mobile application. So you can use your mobile phone to access the device or even it can be used in access a time attendance management. Let's go to the second part. It's about the model's series M5. Well, M5 is very similar in the size compared to M3 devices, but it now supports fingerprint access control and also the card identification. Well, there are, in totally, there are three model names M5. M5 Pro, and now the current model is M5 Plus. Well, it's also an updated version of this model. As we can see here, it's very similar to M3, but it has different identification modes. So, and this device has a very special enrollment process. You can use two administrator cards, as we can mention here, two admin cards which are enroll card and delete card. So all the devices can be used in standalone access control, which means you don't need any software to manage it. You can only use two device system administrator card to add or delete the current user to grant or delete their access as you pass uh, the first admin card, which is in row card, then you can press the fingerprint sensor or pass a user card to add it. So the user can press her face or her finger and or the card to access the device to open the door. And now, as I mentioned, this device has an updated version M5 Plus. So this device also supports the web management page you can add or delete user or check the, the record directly in the web page, and you don't have to download any software. 
And this model N5 plus also supports our mobile application. And as we can show, I got uh, today, uh, we can see the device N5 plus. Directly, you so later I will do a live demo. Okay, let's pass the next part. It's about M7. Well, in this series, there is only one device M7. And as we can see here, it supports a password and fingerprint. And last, it also supports the card identification. Well, you can say it's a combination of M3 and M5. And also this model can be used as a anti-passback access control system, which means you can connect it with another device and later to form an anti-passback system to avoid if someone getting without the identification. And this model also support the PoE power supply, which means you can use only one cable, the ethernet cable to provide the power supply and also the network communication. And besides these models, sorry, besides these models, we are, there is an upcoming model, which is M8, and which will be available in the second half of this year. As we can see in the picture, this model has the camera for the face recognition. And in the last presentation, I don't know if you already see it. And this is a new model that will support the face recognition. And it also has an intercom button to speak to the person. And this device supports the face recognition and card and the password. And this will be available soon in the second part of this year. Now let's see the technical parameters of these devices. And there is a list of the current models, M3 Pro. Well, the M3 or M5, M5 Pro are not listed here because um, these devices are not produced more. And you can try to update, you can try to use the last version of these devices. We can see the difference here. First, the capacity between these devices. Well, M3 Pro has the largest capacity because it doesn't have to store any biometric information. It only supports cards and passwords. And M3, M5 Plus, and M7 supports 3,000 users. And about the card, and it, the card are included. Where well, the card type, all the devices support the card identification. And M3 Pro and M7 support two kinds of card, EM and MyFair. They are two different, they have two different frequencies. And M5 Plus support EM and in the optional, and it has the option to add this function for the MyFair. And we can see the communication mode here. And before all the devices has a USB communication, but as I mentioned, in the last version, M3 Pro or M5 Plus, this device is not this USB communication. It's no longer supported. So we have to connect it via Ethernet, TCP IP. And also these devices support the RS-485 output, which means these devices could be connected and with another devices to form a co-access control system. And the first two models, M3 Pro and M5 Plus, support Wi-Fi and Bluetooth communication. As I mentioned in our app, in our mobile application, the devices are communicated by Bluetooth. So all the devices 
which support the Bluetooth function could be managed in our mobile application, CrossTrack Mobile. And also the first two devices could be connected in Wi-Fi. And then all the devices, as I mentioned, they are all access control system. So they all have relay outputs and we are going to and also have some points for the door sensor, which closed after the identification. And also a point for press the button to leave the door. And these devices are all supported in our time attendance and access control management software, cross-check standards. And now these devices should be connected via LAN or Ethernet. As I mentioned, the M3 Pro and M5 Plus don't support USB communication more. And the first model, first two models also have the web server management page, which means you don't have to download any software. You just have to log in to the web page and type in the device IP address to manage it. And if there's any question, you can put that in the Q&A part. And now let's, pa let's pass to the next part about the most asked questions about our M-series devices. The first one is about the M-series devices. Are they waterproof? As we can see here, all the devices has the metal cases which is designed for the outdoor usage. So you can use it in the rain or even in a very cold environment. And it will work without any problem. As we can see in the second pictures, you can use a ac mobile application to access our model M5 Plus since it has the Bluetooth communication. And the second one, it's also a very frequently asked question. It's about the USB communication. As we can see here, I got a device in my hand and in the back side of the device, there is a USB port for the communication. And formerly we have M3 and M5 devices which support the USB communication. But now, as I mentioned, the new updated version M3 Pro and M5 Plus don't have such function. They have to be connected via Ethernet cable. And also, but these two models also support the Wi-Fi, so you can connect it in that way. The former models like M3, M5, and M5 Pro, and the last one, M7, these four models, they will support the USB connection if you have it. How to connect it with the Y USB? As you can see here, you just have to connect the USB port to any computer and it also provides the power supply to the device. So you don't have to connect it to another power supply. As it, once it's connected with the computer, you can add it directly in the software cross-check standard to manage the users and the record. And for other models like M3 Pro and M5 Plus, as I mentioned, you should connect it via LAN to connect it to your device or via Wi-Fi. And the third question is about the cross-check cloud function. If you already attended our former presentation, the trainings, we already have an introduction of our cross video channels. As we can see here, and cross-check cloud is a platform for the time attendance management. So as I mentioned already, and all the M-series devices are designed for the access control, so currently they are not available in the cloud softwares. So it cannot be added in the software 
cross-check cloud, which is a cloud-based platform to connect it, the devices to the cloud to for the remote control. And our mobile application, cross-check mobile, as I mentioned in my devices here, M5 Plus and M3 Pro and other devices. These two models support the cross-check mobile, the mobile application. As I mentioned, this mobile application needs the Bluetooth communication to connect to the device to add a user or delete the user or to do the time attendance in the mobile app. So I can do a little pause during the presentation and we will see how it works in this M5 Plus. I stop sharing the device. As we can see, there is the device M5 Plus and we have two administrator cards for it to add or delete user. As if we pass this enroll card here, I think, well, it's this one. And now I can press my finger to add it and press twice where well, it's added. Now I have to leave this mood. Now I can pass with my finger directly. And now we can try to use a mobile app, cross-check mobile. Well, this is our cross-check mobile application and we can add it here. Well, there is a list of all the current devices. And now I just click on the symbol to add device. And there shows all the available models. And I can press M5 plus here and next. As we can see, the device appears here. Well, it's not so clearly, it's a M5 plus and we just click on it. And we should introduce the admin password to access it. And as I press next, the device should open the door. As I press it, okay. We wait a free few seconds. I think it's connected. It's this one. Well, not the correct password. I will try it again. It's one, two, three, four, five. And we will see here the light will show if it's open. Not this. We'll try another time. Well, it's accessed. So now once it's added in my phone, so I just click on, wait a minute. So it's added in my phone. So every time I just need to click on the icon to access the device. So I just press it and the device and the it will give access, it will grant the access. Well, let's pass to the next question. Okay. As we can see here, there are two models that are supported in cross-check mobile application M3 Pro and M5 Plus, which means these two devices has the Bluetooth communication. And the next one, as I mentioned, for M5 Plus, we have two 
administrator card to add or delete user in an easy way. But if we have another model, just like an M3 here, well, it's not powered on, but we can see here, it has the keyboard and card management. So you just have to push some special code as it said this here, and then you can add a user or delete them. In the by the keyboard directly. So it doesn't need any enrollment or delete card. But for M5 Plus, we can see Zoom and a card Zoom. So we can use these two cards to manage the users. And the first time you open, you first time you use the devices, you can add any two cards. Well, I mean any card. So if the card was lost, you can try to reset the device and to add two new cards as the administrator card. The first one was added as enroll card and the second one was added as delete card. And how the two administrator cards works, as we can see here, if you swipe the enroll card, then you can press the finger or just to swipe a user card to add it. Then the user could, as I just add a fingerprint in this device so I can access it now, as you can see, but another finger is not available. For, so we just have to add it with our enrollment card swipe it and press the finger and press it twice to confirm that. Now it's not registered, so I can add with this fingerprint. And we just use second card, second one to delete them. Now I just to press the same finger twice to confirm. Okay, now it's delete. Let's pass to the next. All the M series devices are designed for the access control, especially for outdoor access control. So some people will ask if you, I can use them for time attendance. And this is a capture of our software standard as we can see here we cannot decide which identification was added at entry or departure in m5 plus we can do that because there's not any button or any switch to change that so each every identification will be left at entry as we can see in the software once the device is is connected with the software, we can download all the records. And we can see here, they are all added as entry status. So how it works in a time attendance system. So we have to create a timetable and a shift and assign that to the users. For example, we can create a timetable from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m the user so if the user the, the record will be regarded as entry and another record for example at five and five at five o'clock it will be regarded as departure in the system after we do a time attendance analysis we will see the results without distinguish if it's the real status As we can see, the devices are used for the outdoor access control, but you can also connect them with another access controller. As we can see here, the devices support the Weagon output. We can connect it to any other access controller, which can transfer the 
we are going to signal to the access control signal. For example, in this picture, we can see there is an AMWIS access controller SC011, which is the access controller which can receive the AMWIS via gun signal. As we can see here, it's the device M5 plus. We can change the Weagon output signal from Weagon 26 to Weagon 34. But also, we can choose a special AMWIS output format because AMWIS Weagon and see if AMWIS Weagon signal and transfer that to the output at, for the access control with the lock. So we can not only use the relay output of a device for the access control, we can also connect it with another access controller, not only the, as the picture sees here, SC011, also other access controllers with other brands are available and just connect the access controller with another door lock. And the last one, many people ask about the firmware updates of the device. Well, and M-series devices, as we mentioned, there are new updated versions that not support the USB communication such as M3 Pro and M5 Plus. So they have different methods to update the firmware. For the formal models such as M3, M5, M5 Pro and M7, which support the USB communication, there is a small tool to update the firmware. And for the M3 Pro and M5 Plus, which doesn't have such communication, we can connect it via LAN and the firmware in the web server web page. As I mentioned, this, this is a platform, which it's a software that you don't have to download. It, you just have to type the IP address of the device in any web browser to log in the web management page. And then you can load the firmware file. But how can you get our firmware of the devices and to get a compatible please send your device information for us, which included device model, which is very important. And then if it's possible, we will send the version for the device and please notice it's possible that uh, firmware for M3 is not available. M3 Pro provide the correct model name. For M plus and normal M5, the firmware are neither the same. And I think it's that's the whole part of today's presentation. I don't think if you have any question until now, I will give you a few minutes to share your opinion or your questions. You can share your opinions in chat, or there is a part Q&A to give your questions, and we will, it will be respond here. presentation of today is that it and it comes to the end and thanks for coming for the everyone thanks for Calvin for Johnny for Rosenio for Shabani and Simon thanks for coming today 
and hope you get some information for your device application. If you have any questions, you can send it to our support. And you can see the downside of this page. You can send your opinion of your questions to support at to how to buy the device and get more information. You can send it to us. And this is also a partner project for special offer. If you are interested, you can send us at partner at amwish.com. And now there's a new Amish community for the every opinion and every question if you want to share. It's a blog, it's a community to share all your questions, your opinions, and your experience with Amish. You can about the devices and all the solutions you ever have uh, with Amish. And all the opinions are welcome. Well, then thanks for coming here. And now, and, and that's all. You can also follow us in the Amwish Global. And thanks for coming. I see, hope to see you soon.